hello friends you can see that uh, there is cross subluxation of the tibia there is severe hyperextension this person has acl pcl and plc injury this video is taken before i did acl and pcl reconstruction now i am going to demonstrate plc anatomic reconstruction of this patient after acl pcl reconstruction so now i have made a lateral incision this is the uh this common peroneal nerve we are watching now you are seeing and uh, this is what is the torn ends of the biceps femoris this is the avulsed end of the lateral collateral ligament from the tip of the fibular head you can see i am pulling from one of the own artery and another hemostat was demonstrating the avulsed uh, lateral epicondyle the first tunnel is over the fibular head anterior lateral to posterior medial feel with the finger and keep the knee in flexion uh, and uh, all the time you feel the finger where it is coming down and uh, this is a guide wire and 4.5 mm drill bit in the broadest aspect of the fibular head so that it should not damage the uh, uh, fibular head i have passed the shuttles uh, threads and kept it the now, now again you can see that lcl which is and then we'll now come to the anterior posterior tunnel of the tibia which is for the popliteal and popliteo fibular ligament with the jig check the length of the tibial bone and keep the guide wire exactly at that length and protect the posterior aspect of the uh, posterior structures with the finger also with the jig and make sure the wire doesn't come Uh, too much over the exit, uh, uh, very much below the end of the bone. If you keep only how much the length of the bone, uh, so it won't come out. Now over drill with the eight mm. This I had measured eight mm, both the uh, tendons, and again with the bead pin, pass the shuttle thread. Uh, keep the homan as I am keeping and protecting the posterior structures, and. Uh, a little longer incision and protecting the posterior structures with a flexed knee will help all the vascular structures to drop below so that you will not damage after that now concentrate on the lateral epicondyle here uh, there was avulsed lateral epicondylar uh, fragment so i am uh, uh, now drilling the lateral epicondyle for the lateral collateral ligament exactly at the area of uh, where the bone was avulsed this is now again i am now demonstrating the popliteal attachment i have made a I put a shuttle thread now you can see the popliteus avulsed popliteus the distance between the lcl and the popliteus is a 1.8 uh, cm that is 18 mm which is uh, described by dr laprad so i am keeping and just to make sure uh, that it is about 18 mm and both are slightly little uh different direction not parallel divergent but not too much divergent uh, the the popliteus tendon also proximally directed lcl is proximally and superiorly directed now popliteal tunnel proximal directed and superior directed lcl is more proximal directed and superior directed tunnel popliteal tendon is uh, drilled about 4.5 mm just above the articular surface and uh, distal to lcl tunnel over drill over drill this with the 4 mm again keep the shuttle thread like how we did for lcl tunnel you can see two holes for lateral collateral ligament and popliteus the position of the knee is in flexion and the distance between this is 18 mm to 2 cm as described by laprad now i passed one uh, graft both for popliteus and lcl i am now using allograft uh, because i have done already acl and pcl for this patient from the same site peroneus and semitendinosus i have taken allograft now this is a 5 mm uh, a 6 mm screw and 5 mm graft this is for lcl and the second thing is for popliteus both the graft i have kept uh, i have uh, reinforced with the fiber tape 
you can see that the popliteal is thinner uh, about 4 mm and I am trying to pass the 6 mm screw for the popliteus also. You can see the both first step is to uh, fix both popliteal tendon and lateral collateral ligament. I am fixing the popliteus tendon, it has to be buried below the lateral epicondylar bone. And now from the intraarticular part, I took the hemostat and take the shuttle thread to pass popliteus through the articular surface to go below posterior, posterior to the in, in, inside the articular surface. This is the popliteus tendon. Now popliteus has come from intraarticular and now that has to be passed from the tibial tunnel. This is lateral collateral ligament. This is also below the beneath the IT band with the shuttle. Now tibial uh, lateral collateral ligament, fibular collateral ligament is now passed from the fibular head and from the from the fibular head to the shuttle. Now lateral collateral ligament is now uh, in position and popliteus tendon is on both in position both has to be passed below the now uh, tibial tunnel okay now both now all are passed from the tibial tunnel now popliteus tendon popliteal fibular and lateral collateral ligament Now fixation of the fibular collateral ligament. We can fix the fibular collateral ligament before we pass from the tibial also or we can fix it about 10 to 20 degrees of flexion over the uh, and neutral rotation. Keep, pull, keep, keep, the, keep the LCL part of the tendon pulled and keep the knee in 20 degrees of flexion fix with the 6 mm screws. Now keep the knee in 60 degrees of flexion, keep both the ligaments pulled and fix it with the 7 mm screws 25 mm 25 to 7 mm screw tibial side now here in this case there was avulsion of the lateral epicondyle i am now fixing the lateral epicondyle over the anatomic uh, footprint over the screw just to make sure that uh, i am fixing and without uh, i am going to uh, reattach the avulsed lateral epicondylar fragment uh, so that reinforcement of the native LCL is also be the, will be there and also reconstructed LCL also will be there. This is the anchor, suture anchor. You can uh, put the suture anchor and re reattach if there is no tear of the LCL. In this case there was no tear, it was avulsion of the LCL and I am just checking the valves. Uh, stability it is strong good stable I'm demonstrating the native LCL which is holding nicely with the anchors and this is the LCL which anteriorly is the LCL which is demo I have demo I have reconstructed which is going through the fibular tunnel one is the native LCL second thing is the